Good morning and welcome to TA for Traders and this is Monday the 13th of March. In this video we'll be looking at the major US indices, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and Nasdaq. And we'll also take a very quick look at the VIX at the uh, end of the video. Uh, what we'll see is that the consolidation that we had been expecting has occurred and that now in the short term on the S&P and the Dow there could be the creation of a short term head and shoulders which would uh, signal further downside. So looking at the S&P um, as I just mentioned, you can see that there's this short term head and shoulder has now been created. The index is finding support at the 20 day. Um, so that's a factor for the short term. Um, that is at 2367.4. So just two points below the market, but we'll be giving support. But I have my concerns given this left shoulder here, then the head and then the right shoulder. If that's 20 day moving average doesn't hold you really would expect this next support level to come into play which is round about the 2336 and then at the 50 day at 2318 looking at the longer term looking at the weekly picture here you can see the consolidation that we had last week and we're going now into the second week of the consolidation phase. The RSI is still indicative of overbought at 72.56, but the MACD on a weekly basis still looking all right. On the support resistance levels, um, we've got resistance on the upside at 79.6. That was the high last week. And 01.8 is the all time high, which we, we touched 10 days ago. On the support, as I mentioned, there is a little bit of support uh, below the spot in the 50 day, but the 50 day is the key level and that's presently at 2319. Just quickly move back to the daily on the um, chart just to clarify what's happening with the RSI. And as you can see, the RSI is dipping lower and the MACD have rolled down. Usually that's a negative sign. I mean, definitely with the head and shoulders and the uh, the recent consolidation, it is a negative sign. As you can see, when they roll over, when they've rolled over previously, it has heralded at least a sideways move and um, occasionally a, a big sell-off. So uh, MACD is flashing red, big warning sign. Head and shoulders, big warning sign really that market should be expected to come back and test the 50 day at 23.20. Moving on to the Dow and you can see here it's a very similar picture so I won't elaborate on that in fact the RSI and the MACD are again a similar picture the support at the 20 day here is at 28.43 and a half so um, about 30 points below the market on the longer term picture again very similar to the s p uh, and I, I won't elaborate any further on the support resistance levels um, resistance there 21 170 spot 2 which is the all-time high with the support coming in as i said 50 day 23 3 1 spot 5 3 um, I better just clarify what the 20 day moving average is for you on this um, because that's the immediate short term support and that is 28.43 spot 5.4. Moving on to the NASDAQ, slightly different picture here. As you can see, we had a move up on Friday and that has really countered any head and shoulder formation that, that, that was being created in the NASDAQ. It's also enabled the, the RSI to tick back up, um, up to the, um, the bottom of the downtrend, which was quite good. Um, the key resistance will be the high from 10 days ago now. And then below there, we've got the 20 day coming in to give support at 53.34. 
on the longer term it, it's managed to keep going up each week so now we've had one two three four five six, uh, ten weeks ten weeks of solid up moves well not solid but of, of up moves it's it's due a pullback the rsi is at 74.65 there's only been higher than this on a couple of occasions and then there was a consolidation after that so one would expect a consolidation yes the macd is still positive so the short the consolidation on the weekly might only be for a short time but but it should be expected on the support resistance levels um, that resistance at the all-time high 5398.4 with the support coming in at 5334.9 at the 20 day and then at the 50 day 5175 spot 13 moving quickly <clears throat> on to the vix as you can see it just consolidated through through the last week um, did he reach a low then moved up midweek it'll be interesting to see what happens this week as we have the fed meeting but really all expectations are for another uh, another rise um, from the fed on wednesday it looks like it's range trading and you can see the macd is completely flat and the rsi is completely flat at 49.59 so no indications from here of any short-term um, pressures on the markets by this spiking upwards uh, but it's always worthwhile watching so just to clarify um, head and shoulders formation on the S&P and the Dow um, Nasdaq no head and shoulders but uh, certainly on the weekly looks slightly overbought this has been TA for traders I'll be back shortly with another video on the European indices thank you very much for watching